In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, loved by God, we come to this table on the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time to offer gifts of bread and wine, to offer our very selves, which come from God, given back to us, elevated and transformed, poured out by Christ for our salvation. Therefore, let our hearts be filled with gratitude. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. You cleanse us by these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You protect us under the shadow of your wings. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Lord, and there is no other. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, there is no other, there is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord. There is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status, tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. And they handed him the Roman coin. And he said to them, Whose image is this? And whose inscription? And they replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. The coin that our, whole, our Lord looks at is marked, stamped, minted, with the image of Caesar Augustus, the Roman emperor. Jesus evades the trap that is being set for him as so often, but doesn't give us a clear answer, invites us to think. In other words, he invites us to step into the creativity of God. That which is stamped with the image of Caesar belongs to him. And if you're benefiting from the Roman empire, he says, then pay the taxes of the Roman Empire. But giving to Caesar what belongs to him is not enough. Give to God what belongs to him. And though our Lord doesn't say it, he invites us to think what is stamped by the image of our beloved Lord. And where do we encounter his authority? What is minted, so to say, at his command? The answer, if you think about it, is the human being, made in the image and likeness of God. And so we should then, our Lord says, pay what belongs to Caesar, but that's not the end of the story. We ought to do justice to what it is that God has done, remembering that our common life is fundamentally to serve the dignity of all human beings made in the image and likeness of our Lord. And so for those of us who trust what it is that the Lord teaches and open our hearts to what it is that he commands, then we're going to hear in this an invitation to do those things that respect the dignity, so the value of all human life from the very beginning to the very end of human life, those ways in which our society might then promote, that might then respect, that might then live out 
the awesome dignity of the whole human family, those ways in which together our shared common life might recognize what it is that God has done in calling us, in, uh, us into being. And he has invited us to be those who share his task of loving the world that is his and to open our hearts to those who are around us who are the dearly beloved sons and daughters of our beloved Lord. So surely, of course, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar's. But that's the beginning of the story, not the end of the story. For our shared life, the common life that we share as church, the life that we share as those who are lucky enough, privileged enough to be part of this society, is to live out our calling to respect the dignity of the whole human family, both our own and our brothers and sisters who are around us, the least, the lost, the forgotten, the broken, the very young, the very old. And so when we do that, which is to say, we make visible the dignity of those that are around us, we do this extraordinary thing. We give to God who needs nothing from us. We have nothing that he needs. Instead, he invites us to recognize what he has done in creating us as those made in his image and likeness, created of dust and yet bound for glory. God grant us grace to open our hearts to his love so that we might see in each other those made in the image and likeness of our beloved Lord. Let this be so. Amen. Please stand. Let's affirm our confidence in the love uh, of the Holy Trinity as we say, I believe in, one, in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice, turn to the Lord and his strength, constantly seek his face. For the church, that we may be a strong voice for those who are fearful in the face of authority, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may enact laws and policies that never forget the rights of every citizen to security and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all relationships in our lives, that we treat each other with gentleness, civility, and loving concern, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, for those who suffer during these trying times, for those who are joining us in prayer, both remotely and in person, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Into your great love, O God, you have gathered your people and bestowed on them the fullness of salvation. May the love that you have entrusted to us shape the witness of our lives and make us worthy servants of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all of his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so, in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all whom were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be you. for the world, a world of 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.